Hello, I'm Rob Westall and it's my pleasure to be hosting this little short promotional video to tell you about our Inspires Session event. So over the course of the summer, we're going to be holding workshops from a lot of talented people with everything from worship music, circus skills, drawing, painting, art, the arts, because we are Cheltenham Christian Arts Festival, of course. And we've got some fantastic workshops and events that are going to inspire you and encourage you to have a go. And the first of which is this weekend with Mr. Thomas Trilby, who will be doing some circus skills workshop for you and all the family. These workshops are for people of all ages. And uh, we've got this one this Saturday, 10 a.m. live on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter uh, on the Cheltenham Christian Arts Festival accounts there across all of our social media accounts. So we'd love for you to join us at 10 a.m. Uh, but before I tell you more about this Saturday's event, I'd like to tell you more about what else is coming up over the next few weeks, including a very special day on the 22nd of May. Check this out. They go to fabulous events there for you on the 22nd of May. So please, of course, check our website if you'd like more information and, of course, our socials as well. And that's the best way to engage with all of these sessions is across our social media platforms. So you can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Christian Arts CH. There's the address there. And also visit us on Facebook. Please like and follow our Facebook page, facebook.com Christian Arts Fest. And of course, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It doesn't cost you anything, by the way. It basically means you won't miss out on any live um, f streams that we do. Um, also, don't forget to ring the bell for notifications and hit that like button as well. But uh, for now, let's get focusing on Saturday. So Saturday, 10 o'clock, we have got the Thomas Trilby Bring Ya Socks family show full of live interactive circus skills that you can have a go at and uh, Thomas suggests bringing your socks so you can learn juggling so I've uh, I've, I've well I, perhaps I shouldn't have done that but uh, I'll be certainly practicing and uh, I hope you'll get practice in too. But if you'd like to make your own juggling balls, Thomas has very kindly recorded this next video, short video for you. And you can learn how to make your very own juggling balls at home. But if you haven't the time or the inclination, then don't forget, that doesn't exclude you. You can bring your socks and have a go. Um, as you can see, I need a lot of practice. So I will see you 10 o'clock on our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter accounts. But for me, Rob Westall, goodbye. But here's Thomas on how you can make your very own juggling balls. God bless. See you Saturday. Hi there, my name's Thomas Trilby and today I'd like to show you how to make juggling balls like these. They're fantastic for learning to juggle with and especially good for taking part in one of my online juggling workshops. All you're going to need is a bag of something like pearl barley, um, oats or rice or anything small, quinoa or anything like that works really well. You're also going to need some balloons and some freezer bags. The only equipment that you're going to need are some scissors, and some kitchen scales. So you take the kitchen scales and you want to put about 100 grams of the barley or whatever you're using into the scales. It's important that all the juggling balls weigh the same. Once you've done that, you can take a freezer bag and put the barley into the freezer bag. Just tip it in and try and get it all in there. Once you've got it in there, just give it a little shake, twist around the top of the bag like so, so the barley or can't come out, and then pop the top of the bag over like that. Now you need to take a balloon like this, and just above the round bit, where it goes along there, you're going to cut the balloon across like so. Now that should mean that you've got an open circle on the end of the balloon. Now if you put your fingers in there, you can open out the balloon, and you have to very carefully stretch the balloon over the top of the barley. So I'm going to go over the top like so, and then push the bag of barley into the balloon, come all the way around like this, 
so that that balloon covers the bag of barley. And what you'll find is there's just a little bit uncovered on the end. To get rid of that, you're going to need another balloon and a different color looks good. Again, chop the top off. Pop this balloon the opposite way. So this time it goes over the hole and stretches right around to the other side of the juggling ball. Now, once you've done that, you might find that it's not quite strong enough and you might want to take a third balloon and put that over the top. So I'll just pop the top off there, take that balloon and stretch that one the opposite way again over the top of those. And that should give you a nice, strong juggling ball. Now, if you squeeze that too much, it's going to pop, but you should find that it's quite strong. And when you've got three of them together, you can start to juggle like so. Just be aware if you've got any pets or small children in the house, that if they try and eat these, the barley will come out. So make sure that you keep them out of the way, nice and safe. Thank you.